Hi guys, I am back. Finally, it's been so long. It's different. I also forgot how to talk here on YouTube. So, restart. I am finally back. I know it's been months since I did my last video. The reason why I've been gone is because I just had so much going on in my life. And I originally started YouTube to kind of build a relationship with you guys and open up in a different level that I can't on my other social platforms um, because of the type of content you know that I'm creating. So on Instagram, for example, it's a lot of photos or quick stories and you really can't get to know me the way I want you guys to know me and my real personality so I figured I'd start YouTube and I also love love vlogging my travel vlogs because they're kind of like memories and like journals for me I can go back and watch them and it's really fun to see like where I went two years ago and what that experience was like a lot of my channel has been vlogs and because of what's going on right now um, which I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy I am sending you all my love and prayers and positivity and happiness your way. But before the whole quarantine and pandemic happened, um, I had a lot of uh, travel trips coming up. And I was kind of hoping that I would, you know, do videos around those and do my typical vlogs. But because those got canceled, I just haven't been on YouTube. So long story short, I'm really sorry. I am back. I get this question all the time and I figured I'd answer it on a YouTube video because it's just easier to just send everyone to the video instead of answering all the emails and dms and comments messages whatever you know so i figured i would do a video around how i moved to new york city and how i got started doing what i do now um this is a very loaded question i feel like there's a lot of things i could talk about this for a really long time but i'm just going to summarize it and kind of give you a summary of my life in a way um so what happened was i was a sophomore in college i went to the university of washington i grew up in seattle um that is where i moved after growing up in bulgaria my family moved to seattle when i was seven years old i pretty much grew up in seattle and um i went to the university of washington there i studied pre-law well i was first pre-med so i really wanted to be a doctor and i started studying pre-med but because it's such a good school it was very rigorous and very competitive very hard and i kind of just hated the whole experience and i'm very um creative and i didn't realize how creative i was until i was in college and how much i needed creativity in my day-to-day -day job and career to be happy and satisfied so what ended up happening is i transitioned from pre-med to pre-law because i've also always considered being an attorney and a lawyer and i love that and my mom and my family used to tell me you would be such a great attorney because I loved arguing and I always had a very strong opinion about things and I love standing up for what I believe in and what I thought was right and standing up for others. So they're like, you could always be an attorney, like joking about it. But then I'm like, let me test this out. So I went from pre-med to pre-law and then while I was pre-law, sophomore year, I um, started Fashion as My Forte, which was my blog at the time. And I still have Fashion as My Forte and that's kind of how I got my Instagram. I came up with the name of my blog very randomly. I was I spent days trying to figure out what my blog's gonna be called. And I saw a commercial on TV and there was Forte somewhere in the commercial and I didn't know what Forte meant. So I Googled them like what is Forte? And I realized that the that the definition matches so well with um fashion, what I love doing and my passion for it and my uh you know desire to pursue fashion and to be knowledgeable and skilled in fashion so i realized and for i mean they both start with f so long story short i'm like what if, what if i have my blog um be named fashion's my forte and it just rolls off your tongue and i'm like this is it bingo so fashion's my forte came to life i started my blog as a creative outlet while i was pre-law and was studying very like structured and rigorous courses going from pre-med to pre-law still like 
very by the book. So I started fashion as my forte to just kind of have fun and have something to, to share my outfits and talk with you guys after school. And a lot of times during class, I would be writing blog posts, um, but it was so much fun for me. So that was sophomore year. I continued it on until senior year and senior year was a time when I was going to, and mind you during the school time, I had law internships. I um, had law jobs. I had obviously pre-law, but um, I was doing everything in the field. I was on track. I really wanted to go to Columbia Law School. That was my dream school because I wanted to live in New York City and I also wanted to practice law here in New York City. So my goal was Columbia Law and I was working very, very, very hard to get into Columbia Law. And what happened senior year, um, my gut happened and my intuition. And I was about to start applying to schools. I was about to, I was studying for my LSAT. I was gonna take the LSAT the year after and have a gap year and then go straight into law school. Um, but something was not right. Something was not right. And I really have always wanted to work for myself and I wanted to just be, you know, independent and be my own boss. So I decided, so I was gonna graduate June of, uh, I don't even know what year this was. 2016? I don't know what year I even graduated. I think it was 2016. Anyways, it was June when I graduated. So I bought my one-way ticket to New York City June for August. And I wanted to just move here and pursue my blog and pursue fashion as my forte and see what happens. And I had nothing figured out. I really decided to, you know, I said, worst comes to worst, I will take a year or two off. And then if I wanna go back to law school, I always have the opportunity. Law school's not going anywhere. But I couldn't miss the risk of not following my gut and my dreams and seeing what would happen if I do my own thing. And something my gut always told me that I am not gonna be happy studying out of a book all day and taking these tests and exams and I'm very bad at taking standardized testing. I think it's because I just cannot, it's just not how my brain functions. I just, I can study all day and all night and I just can't get the answers right. And, and I'm like, I know I'm not stupid. I just, it's not for me and that's okay. I'm just gonna figure out what is for me. So the time between June and August, I just worked and saved up all the money I could save. I, um, made networked and made as many connections as I can. I didn't know anyone moving to New York City. And so I had really no assistance and I had no job or apartment or even knew where I was gonna live. I just kind of moved. That was my first time living in Brooklyn. Obviously first time living in New York City, first time living in Brooklyn. It was an amazing experience. I felt like I just learned so much and I absorbed so much about New York City so quickly. Like there's just so much going on around you and I really, really, really learned a lot about myself and grew up so quickly. Um, I think I've always been very mature for my age, but there's nothing like moving to New York and just being thrown in the city and it's like, go figure it out, girl. So that's exactly what I did. And it's been an amazing experience. I It was the best decision that I've ever made in my life and I will never, ever, ever regret moving here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna live here forever by any means. I wanna live somewhere very warm by a beach with lots of palm trees. Um, and lots more space for less. Um, but I uh, love being here right now. I was just networking in the beginning and I was doing part-time styling. So I did get a job eventually like two or three months later, obviously because I came here August, September was New York Fashion Week and I utilized that time to network a lot and try to meet people. So I think it was maybe like November-ish, I, I started doing part-time styling and I did that for a year and then I went full-time blogging. How I got to become a full-time blogger is I just networked a lot and I created content that I loved and I was consistent and you just have to have something to offer. So whether it's your personality or perspective or clothes or looks or you know tips whatever it is have something to offer and produce high quality content that you love and be consistent with it and be nice and 
be kind to others and network and i always always reached out to every single pr person that emailed me if they were in new york city i would ask to meet for lunch or get coffee and i found that to be very helpful because now i have so many friends in the industry it's very helpful because when they have work they will be like oh you know Gigi might be a great fit for this i will reach out to her um and i think in such a saturated market relationships i mean in any industry relationships are the key to everything but especially in such a saturated market like what i do um it's really good to have relationships with people because it means so much more than just having a good feed or having a lot of followers major tips is definitely network ask to meet for coffee or lunch and allow people to really get to know you personally outside of your instagram um and then just be consistent be positive don't compete with others we've all gone through this and so have i but i have become much better at not com comparing myself and competing with others because i found that i do best when i'm just myself and i'm happy in my own skin and i just post what i love and i say what i want to say and life's good that way so that is a tip i recommend and if you could learn that at a younger age it's even better um, because you just go through less bullshit um, if you are planning on moving in New York City don't be scared of not knowing anyone I know some of you have DM me like I'm moving to New York soon what do I do where do I live I don't know anyone um, should I still come and I'm like yes a thousand million percent do not not come to New York because you don't know anyone half the people that move here don't know anyone and you meet people because there's people everywhere and it's impossible to not meet amazing people you just have to put yourself out there and have the energy of being very open and kind and welcoming and you just attract the right type of people that way um don't be scared so when you move here be excited oh my gosh you have so much to learn so much could happen your whole life could change and you're gonna work really hard to make everything you want happen so how can it fail you know how can you fail if you don't give up I keep stressing so much to be kind to others because it gets you really far. You know, no matter how saturated the market is, it's a small ass world. And I, to this day, every day, I'm just surprised. And I will have like weird moments where I'm like, oh my God, like I know that person. Like we know the same person. How did our past cross? Like we do such different things. Like it's really a small industry. Don't settle for what you know you don't deserve stay true to you and your business and remember you run a business i think sometimes because there's so much fun things that can happen in our industry the lines get blurred and it could be a little hard for some people to remember to stay professional and business-like like you're running a business girl be a businesswoman put your foot down if you know someone's walking all over you're using you do not let them know your worth so find a good uh, group of friends say yes to everything if it sounds like a stupid event it doesn't matter if it sounds like a stupid concert it doesn't matter say yes to everything you don't know i some of the best moments in my life are things i thought i would enjoy doing it's because i just forced myself to go do it and in new york there's so many things to do just say yes go with whoever say yes go by yourself you are not weird for doing things by yourself i feel like here you could do more things by yourself than you can anywhere else and no one will look at you weird about it because almost half the people there are by themselves too and that's how you meet friends this video is getting so long i am going to have to end it now because i don't want to bore you guys i hope it was helpful let me know if you guys want me to do any other specific videos cover any other topics i would love to do that now that i'm back on track um yeah and if you have any other questions about anything i said comment down below i would try to get back to every single question yeah that is it for now i will see you guys later